develop and develop and hopefully continue forevermore as a Dragon Cafe. Let's Yay. see, let's see what happens. So first of all, I'd like to invite um, David Bladerly to give a, a, a short talk. David has been in a, he, you are head of social inclusion and recovery, aren't you? That's, um, I think something like that. Uh, but David's been like, he's always understood what Mental Fight Club is about. He's always got, he understood what we were setting up to do in the Dragon Cafe. And uh, he helped us get the grant from the Mordecai Charity. So I'd like to say a very, very, very great thanks to David Daisy and the Mordecai Charity. Now we're going to say a few words of thanks. We're going to cut the ri ribbon. Unfortunately, our, the lovely Nikki Crane from Guys and St. Thomas's can't come because she's not well today, but I have a message for her on my mobile phone, which I will read once the ribbon has been cut. Okay? So here we go, David. Over to you. No, just say something. <laughs> Sarah, very wisely said I was going to say a few words, and uh, those of you who know me know that I am a person of very few words. Uh, I have a lot in my head, but very few of them come out. Uh, I, I, from, from the minutes I met them, I thought that the people who make up the mental part of are in, uh, uh, <coughs> inspired in some way. And Certainly, I think the work that they've done has proved to be inspirational <coughs> to a lot of people. And I've been to see what happens here on a few occasions, and every time I've come, I've been in the Lancet in first. And I, <coughs> I think, um, well, I know that Crisis and Thomas' Charity people are similarly impressed. Not, not only impressed, but kind of you know, overwhelmed by the way that things are developed here. <coughs> the thing, thing that I find really fantastic about it is the way that people make connections and the fact that it only happens in the library is actually a really good thing in my opinion is it means that people don't um, have a place that they go to all day every day and it's the only place that they go to. It's a place where you can come and connect with other people and develop relationships and then move on and become part of the wider Southern community. <coughs> so from that point of view, I think it's a really uh, quite unique idea. And uh, I just hope that it uh, flourishes and that you all get as much out of it as possible can. So I'm very pleased to be able to cut this ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, David.